Good morning, Year 1. For today's maths lesson, you are learning to sort 2D shapes. For our anchor, I would like you to match the 2D shape to the correct name and then find which shape name is missing. Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so here we've got the triangle the rectangle and the circle and the shape name that is missing is the square. So today we're talking about different ways of sorting 2D shapes and one of the ways that we can sort them is by colour. And here we've got some different types of 2D shapes and some of them are red and some of them are blue. So we could sort them by putting all of the red shapes into one group and all of the blue shapes into another. Another way that we can sort 2D shapes is based on the type of shape that they are. So we could put all of the circles into one group and all of the squares into another. So remember that circles have just one side and no vertices and squares have four equal sides and four vertices and these are our leftover shapes. This time we're sorting again according to shape but our groups are triangles and rectangles and triangles have three sides and three vertices and rectangles have four sides and four vertices and two of the sides are longer and two of them are shorter. So now I would like you to have a go of sorting these 2D shapes into circles and triangles. Pause the video now and have a go. So we have got three circles and three triangles. And these shapes don't fit into either of these groups. OK, and this time we are going to be sorting these shapes into 2D or 3D. So remember that 3D shapes, we can physically hold those in our hands. But with 2D shapes, we cannot. So pause the video now and have a go. So let's begin with 2D shapes. We've got the rectangle, the square, the circle, the triangle and the pentagon with its five sides. And for the 3D shapes, we've got a cone, cube, a cylinder, the sphere, and the triangular prism. This time we've got some 2D shapes which have been sorted into two groups. I would like you to pause the video and think about how the shapes have been sorted. So the first group here we can see are all triangles and we know that triangles have three sides. The shapes in the second group we've got a mixture 
of squares and rectangles. So they have been put in this group because they all have four sides. This time the question says, sort the shapes below. So we've got four shapes here and we have got three groups. How many different ways can you sort them? I'm going to begin by looking at their colour. So we could sort them based on the colour that they are. And we've got A and D which are both blue, so they could go in a group together. We've got shape B, which is red, so that could go in its own group. And shape C, which is green, so that could also go in its own group. We could also sort the shapes based on the type of shape that they are. So A and D, could go in a group because they are both circles. B could go in a group because it's a triangle and C could go in its own group because it is a rectangle. So we could sort them in two different ways. The shapes could be sorted in two ways. So by colour, or by shape. This time the children have five shapes. Bex says the shapes can be sorted into two groups and Cole says the shapes can be sorted into three groups. Who is correct? Explain your answer. So if we were sorting the shapes by colour, let's see how many groups we would have. So the rectangle is yellow, so that would be in a group of its own. Then we have got two green shapes, which would be in another group and two red shapes which would be in a third group. So in that case we would have three groups which is what Carl is saying. We could also sort them by shape. So the rectangle would go in one group, the triangles would go in a second group and the circles could go in a third group. So once again, we could make three groups. So that tells us that Carl is correct. Carl is correct because we can sort the shapes into three groups, either by colour or shape. So these are your questions for today. For silver, question one, you need to match the groups of shapes to the correct label. So you're drawing a line to match them up. For question two, you're looking at the groups of shapes and deciding how they have been sorted. For question three, you're looking at how Eva has sorted her shapes and you need to decide if she has done it correctly. And for question four, you have been given some shapes and you need to sort them into the correct group. So you can write the letter of the shape in whichever group you think it belongs in. And for gold, you have got some reasoning and problem solving questions. Again, these are very sim similar to the examples that we've been through together. 
And for platinum, you've got some more challenging reasoning and problem solving questions.